of uh, the slave thing started basically a year ago, April. I can now obviously see things from a different angle and obviously have more information. So in some respects it will sound like I'm telling a story um, with hindsight, shall we say, um, to be a whole area. Anyway, we will start on April last year concerning Mark Lucian Slade. The flat upstairs had been on the market for nearly 10 years by Mr. Tag. Um, and he tried, he tried every possible way to get rid of it. In the end, Tony Spinks of the home shop had it on his books. Right. Anyway, events start, so I'm out in the back garden and I see a car pull up out on the main road and two what I call dubious type carriages got out and started marching across the green towards me. And uh, the blonde one who called himself Sulk and his the other chap with him was his partner Danny Smith, which isn't his real name. And Mr. Sulk's real name is actually Mark Lucian Slade. Um, he starts off by saying, I bought the flat upstairs and he wanted to know about the charges, he wanted to know this, that and the other. And it was all very aggressive. And I said to him, I said, well, have you got any questions you want to ask? I said, I said, just you go and ask my sister. Oh, he said, I'll phone your sister. And he basically told me to piss off. I said, well, that's what I'm telling you today. Anyway, off they went. Uh, checking with my sister, I found he had a telephone call from this Mr. Sulk, who demanded questions to what the charges and my charges were on the property, etc., etc., etc. And basically, he got a flea in his ear, he told put it in writing, send it to me, and I'll discuss it. Um, then my sister is contacted by a conveyancer in Hove who wanted some basic details which my sister gave them. Anyway, obviously, over after 10 years of harassment by the people before, it uh, didn't take long to start looking in and wondering why someone would be mad enough to want to buy upstairs. Anyway, a week later approximately, a uh, doorbell rings and Mr. Sulk is standing there being all nice and saying, uh, you know, perhaps we could all buy the freehold from the Crown and all do it together and do the building up and he's all nice and oh I'm going to do this and that, come and have a look at the flat upstairs and this needs doing and that needs doing etc etc etc. And basically it was all verbal, 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 verbal. So I said well yes, fair enough, because the way the Crown is, all three of us have to buy it anyway. So away we went. Not so much on that, but uh, Mr. Ball was organised, and Adam Slade said, "Oh, well, Mr. Ball, well, you can act for me as well," and etc. etc. Right. Now that is just the opener. 
The next opener was that um, he also mentioned he had um, day and night security at Ross and Dean and he ran an alarm company and he basically bought the flat so that his engineer Danny uh, could live in it and that was his first story of why he bought it you know because Danny was living in a bed sitter at the back of the shop in Ross and Dean it wasn't very nice for him and rubbish like that So, bearing in mind these things, and the man is just shifty to start with, um, I went down to the shop, and anyway, there was a couple of his so-called employees there, plus uh, an estate agent from next door walked in, and Slade's giving him a lot of verbal about all oh, how he just bought you know half a dozen cottages in Wales and he's letting them out and he's bought this and how he's made fifty thousand pounds this morning and, and rabbit 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 and uh, and I thought well I'm not happy at all with any of this but. Two things happened. I got in touch with a friend of mine who had connections um, shall we say in the area of private detectives etc and I gave him the information on the man called himself Mr Sulk And uh, off he went. Anyway, by a chance meeting, I very seldom go in pubs. And uh, a friend of mine said, Oh, this is pop down the road and have a drink. And uh, anyway, I was standing at the bar and talking, and I was talking to him, and anyway, I was telling them a bit about what this character and uh, there was a oh I don't know blondish bloke glasses seen seen around I don't even know his name is piped up he said do you say a bloke from Salt Dean run runs the alarm company said, yeah and uh, oh, he says he's a right crook. I says, what do you mean? So run the security company. Oh, apparently he um, runs credit frauds. Said, what? He says, yeah. Oh, yeah. He says um, him and his mate Danny, um, who's a computer wizard of some description. Uh, they set up usually get an address set up with a, a foreign sounding name getting a load of goods and then basically disappear or when the people come ask the money they say well you know mr radovich or wherever from hungary uh, has disappeared out of the country and gone away and credit companies don't follow them up so, 